Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to Finesse Fridays, where I'm going to be talking about how I got scammed or finesse, how maybe you guys got scammed or finesse, or some scammer stories and finesse stories that are happening around the world in social media or in the current news today. So here's how I found out that Hermes had a nail polish and um, this is how I almost got finessed by a comp well a person pretending to be that they worked for Hermes and saying that they had a project for nail artists to work on. So story time. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your hot chocolate, grab what you need and sit back, relax and enjoy the story. Also, I got receipts for y'all. So if you want to stop and read, feel free to pause and read through the emails and the screenshots. Okay, so a uh, director allegedly saying that he worked for Hermes reached out to me saying that um, he had a project for nail artists to work on that was going to be a two-day event and that he needed me to include my location. I did. I was happy. I was like, oh my gosh, somebody is noticing me on Instagram. Although I am a beginner nail artist, they are noticing me and they want to give me a chance. Why not? So I sent two of my best um, nail designs well that I thought was my my best nail designs and I wound up doing this little fugazi watermark I wound up <laughs> it's like signing my name on the pictures because I was just like although this is not top-notch work this is my work so I want to make sure that they know that this is my work if they try to try if they try to try if they try to you know use my work and say it's somebody else's so anyway i did reach back and then before they sent me an email about compensation and all the rules i kept looking over the email i wound up copying pasting the email into my search bar onto instagram tiktok Facebook, wherever I could look up this email to see what would pop up, to see if inf any information pop up, I did. Nothing popped up. Then I wound up forwarding the email to my husband because he works for a company where they do deliveries for all types of things, furniture, um, fashion week, when they're filming in New York City or New Jersey, they deliver items back and forth. So I asked him like, hey, um, by any chance, do you know if Hermes is doing some type of project where they're delivering things? Can you know look look it up for me and tell me what's going on? So, um, he was like, nah. Automatically, he was like, no, we haven't came across that. We don't. We, I don't think they even have an account with them or whatever. So he was like, no. Um, Fashion Week is not until this time and this time. Like that's over, and we haven't done anything with like nail companies in a while. So I was like, he was, so he read it over and he was like, that's a scam automatically. He was like, reach out to Hermes themselves and see what's going on. Maybe they can give you some insight if it's legit. Cool. You know, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. You know, get that money. Um, but if not, then, you know, just see if Hermes has an opportunity for nail artists. So I reached out to them and they had responded back to me. Obviously, they had no knowledge of it and it wasn't anything within their company and I did ask them if they had any opportunities for no artists you know I would like to send them my work and be considered and they just directed me to their careers page on their website which is fine which is cool so um that is how I discovered that they even had a nail company because I wound up going to their website and looking through their website and sure enough they had nail polish and um, if you go back a couple of videos back for Nail Hall Thursday, I did do an unboxing. That was a Christmas gift. So anyway, um, before Hermes had even reached out to me, I was like, you know, how did you guys even find me? Um, how do I know that this is legit? We live in a world where there is nothing but scams. Everybody is trying to pull a fast one over who they feel is the weakest link so they did respond to me and you guys can pause and read through the emails and you know see what they responded now if this was some odd years ago y'all i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i would have sent my information i would have sent my address i probably would have sent my height my weight my blood type because i would have saw how much they were allegedly going to give me and send me free nail equipment well, I don't know if it was going to be free, but they were sending me nail equipment. I would have jumped, hop, skipped, played hopscotch to send them my information. But I did have to step back out of the excitement and really do my research and really see, like, if this is legit. 
I have to protect myself and also I am a mom, so I have to protect my kids. They wanted personal information like my address, my phone number, that's personal information. You don't want to be giving it out to anybody. So yeah, that's how I almost got finessed. Um, I'm just glad that, you know, I'm older, I'm wiser, that, you know, I'm not as eager to jump into things as I once was because, um, you know, I'll, I'll save that story for another day, how I got finessed and I wound up messing up me and my grandma's bank account. So I'll save that for the next Finesse Friday. But um, yeah, let me know, guys know what you think. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Have you guys who are doing nails or not even nails, if you're some type of content creator, have you guys ever seen an email like this where somebody is trying to allegedly give you an opportunity for a big company and what did you do? no judgment this is a safe space this is no judge zone so i'm not going to judge because you guys just heard that i said i would have probably gave my information years ago so if you guys have any stories about how you got scammed finesse and you want it to be heard on this channel make sure you email me or dm me on ig at gmail.com everything will be linked in the description box below depending on what side of the world you are on it is a snow day so please be safe driving bundle up put your mask on um all that good stuff happy friday enjoy your weekend be good to you be good to others and i will see you guys in the next one bye